Hey, Oscar fans, Evan Bland with Tom Chattel for a very special February signing day edition of the Tom Chattel Press Box. And just spoke with uh, Matt Rule for about yeah. half an hour. He had a lot of interesting things to say. Signing day now isn't what signing day used to be right. in early February. Uh, they, they did get a commitment today from Keona Wilhite, who's an edge rusher out of Tucson. That was a nice victory. Otherwise, it was really Matt Rule talking a lot about the work that Nebraska did in the transfer portal, a little bit with the walk-on class, and now spinning it forward to uh, winter conditioning and what spring's going to be. Tom, I thought what he said about culture and that being set was really notable. He said last year's unbelievable is this year's good. What do you think he means by that as they're trying to build a foundation? Yeah, it's just the the, the next step. You, you want every year – to be better than the last year, and um, I, I, I remember last year, everything you know, the first year of a coach, everything's fresh and exciting, and oh, they're doing all these off-season things, and they're having games, and they're they're challenging the guys to go to other sports games, and and it's it's everything is cool, and, and so it's like, well, all that stuff's kind of expected, and uh, now, and uh, how they do things in the weight room, how they do things uh, in the off-season. Is, is really okay this is how we do it everybody knows that you don't have to be told anymore uh there, there's no more mystery so um it has to be better than it was last year like you said we're five and seven until they play utep in august so um and he's going to remind them we're you know what we did isn't good enough and i thought that that, 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 that was a message today too so um I, it's, it's, it's spot on. You've you got to be better than you were last year. And, and but knowing the, uh, you know, the culture is sort of like the, the expectation. And so knowing that is, you know, you, you're, you're way ahead of the game. You talked about getting better, too. One of those spots is going to have to be the quarterback position. Mm -hmm. I thought what he said, too, he was asked, you know, is he happy with three scholarship quarterbacks? They've got Heinrich Harburg, Daniel Kalen, and, and Dylan Raiola. Uh, you know, Rule said maybe in May, if circumstances dictate, they could go out a fourth guy, a more veteran guy. But he said, you know, Harburg and the two freshmen need reps, and, and they're all in on these quarterbacks right now. I guess what's your reaction to this approach that they're they're full steam ahead with the guys well, they have, even if it's not a bunch of them? Yeah, it's it's really unique where they're at because they've got so many young guys. Um, a lot of programs would would bring in a one year guy from the the, the portal to maybe ease in. Uh, the rail, uh, uh, those guys. Um, but he doesn't want to do that. He said, "I don't want a one-year guy. He he wants guys who are going to be around for a while." I think it's 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 a great situation for them to you know. Now they're going to have to play and they're going to have to learn. Uh, you know, as as they go next fall, it's, they don't have experience. But um, I, I I really like the the, the whole message there of you know, we we have three, and that's kind of what I've always had. Sometimes Evan, when you have four or five or six. I mean, those guys are going to leave. They're not going to get right. reps, so they're going to leave. So you don't, you don't really, even, you, you never get to see them. You never get, you never get to know who they are, because <laughs> they're gone. Mm -hmm. So, and we, we've seen that before, um, last few years with, um, you know, for, especially Frost. They had so many guys, you know, lined up there that they, they left. So, um, that, that's that's going to happen in today's world. But right now, I think these guys are are, are going to be here. And they've got a new quarterback coach brought in to, for, for the specific reason of, of developing quarterbacks. So it's not it's not uh, it's not portal U for the quarterbacks right now. It's uh, and, and we've had that the last couple of years. So uh, this is exciting. I think uh, how much will they do in the spring? You know, we'll we'll have to figure that out. I, I, I guess in March, but I'm guessing it'll be. It, 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 It'll be a slow go this spring. Uh, they probably won't do a lot that, that's real flashy, but I, I, I like having three. And you can tell one of their selling points <clears throat> that they're telling these guys is don't worry about the situation. The situation is going to change. Coaches are going to leave. Yeah. Quarterbacks are going to transfer. It's not like it was even five years ago. And and to his point, Nebraska made the staff change to Glenn Thomas. Yeah. They bring him in as the, as the quarterback's coach. But I thought, too, you know, Thomas, he's the quarterback's coach, but he's also technically the co-offensive coordinator. Right. Matt Rule was very adamant again today about who the guy calling plays is, and it's not Glenn Thomas. It's going to be Marcus Satterfield. Yeah, it's never too early to ask who's calling the plays. Uh, this is February 7th, but that is sort of a year-round topic. 
but it's good to get it out there because, um, you know, and, and Matt Rule, if, you, if, if he's sort of sensitive about that, but he's he's been asked about it before and he's very adamant um, to the point where, you know, he's going to pound his fist almost. It's Santa Field is going to call the plays. I've told, you that, I've told you the guys this before. This is where it's going. But I think where I think um, Glenn Thomas will be part of, this, of that process, as I, I think Dylan Rayola will be too. I think they're going to have to figure out what plays Dylan likes, what can he do well, and I think that that'll be Thomas. And they'll all be they'll all be in these meeting rooms. They're not, they're not going to hide in different offices uh, of all. They're going to be in the same meeting rooms together, and they'll figure all this stuff out. It, it'll be it'll, it'll be an effort. Uh, uh, a team effort, I guess, a uh, collaboration, as he called it. Uh, and the head coach, of course, um, would be part of it too. But I like the fact that um, he's by doing this, he's basically saying Satterfield is better. Your, your coordinator is better not being with quarterbacks, especially if if you want to run the ball. So we've heard this before. We will see if they do run the ball. So, but um, I, I think that's. Uh, it's a good plan. I think it, it, you know it's good to have a quarterback coach. It's good to have a coordinator who is not always trying to make the quarterback happy. You got to make the whole offense happy. So, um, but here we here we go. I think it's signing day. This is what we talked about. Yeah, it's an important time for Nebraska. It's it's basketball season. Baseball and softball is coming up. Spring sports. But this is a really formative time for Nebraska, as Matt Rule said. They're doing yeah. behind the scenes work. Who embraces adversity? Who's the leaders? All that sort of stuff. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll be back for spring. It's going to be uh, you know another month. I think Nebraska is going to get rolling mid March. So for Tom, I'm Evan. Tom Chattel's press box. Thanks for watching, Husker fans, uh, and, and we'll talk to you down the road.